This is the Brooklyn Bridge. Your little queen. She liked that. She loved you said that. Don't lean on that, okay? Don't lean on these crushed little legs, okay? Hey, I'm making sausage and peppers uh, for dinner, but I'm also going to be making a bread pudding that I'm bringing tomorrow to this super low party I'm going to. So I'm just getting my peppers and onions in the oven first. And then I'm going to make bread pudding to bring to the super low party tomorrow. You're a queen too, Serafina Rose. This onion is like not looking too hot. I'm gonna tell you that. Bring the whole bucket, bub. Oh, but I can Hey, you can bring the whole bucket, baby girl. Bring the whole bucket to Mariella. This is all for me so I can watch Mariella. Got headphones and next to the uh, one pair. I got, I got my headphones, my necklace, all the necklaces and one pair <laughs> of gloves. Okay, babe. My go-to like staple is something like this. Sausage and peppers, sheet pans and uh, uh, macaroni and peas. A quick like cherry tomato marinara, which takes like 20 minutes. Um, go to like weeknight, uh, usually very simple, especially my husband usually works very late and I hate like having to do elaborate dinners and then also clean up after them. You know what I mean? What's your staples? What are your staple dinners? Yeah, during the week, I'm definitely easy for sure. I don't put sauce on my sausage and peppers. I do garlic and oil. So what I do is I cook the onions and the peppers in the oven with a ton of really good olive oil and fresh garlic and salt. And I let them like slow cook in, in like its own juices for like 40 minutes. Um, and then I fry up the sausages. And then I slice the sausages and then I put the sliced sausages with the sausage and peppers and then I let them cook like that for like 10 minutes. I don't do sauce on my, on my sausage and pepper. That's not how my mother used to make it and honestly I've had it that way and it's, it's not my, it's not my jam. I like that oily, like that pepper, oniony oil. No tomato sauce. Am I a New Park pizza girl? For sure, but you can't take New Park to go and you can't get it delivered. You need to eat the New Park right there, like either over the trunk of your car or in that little seating area they have in the front or the back. For delivery, I used to love Lenny's. I don't think it's there anymore, Lenny's pizza. Yeah, my husband just picked up a loaf of Italian bread, so. Uh, yeah, I like to cook the sauce, the onions and the peppers separate and get them like super caramelized. I'll show you. 
But I'm also going to be making a bread pudding on here because I'm going to a Super Bowl party tomorrow and I'm going to be bringing um, a bread pudding and some sort of dip. I don't even know what, what yet. Thank you so much. I've never been to Umberto's. That's in Long Island, right? I've, I know people that go there because I've seen them like tag in. Um, and I heard it was good, but I've never personally been there. So I'm going to put this with the papas. Introducing textures to my youngest. I, I kind of just do like little by little. Like every meal, I kind of just make sure I have something different. Hold on. Let me just get a hair scrunch. You want to put my hair up? I feel like all kids are different and they're kind of they're gonna just like adjust to the texture at their own pace um and I feel like you can kind of like feel out you can tell how like their gagging is if you think they shouldn't have that texture you know or if they could handle more I've never had Umberto's I'm making sausage and papas and then I'm also going to be making a bread pudding my oldest is like, she's already had everything. So I'm not really introducing much more to Serafina. Um, I said Serafina the same way I feed Mariella. I like to put a lot of olive oil in here. Hopefully I have more olive oil in my basement. Do we know if I have more oil down there? Oil? Yeah. Olive oil, I don't know. The Oh, like the garlic one? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Um, my daughter's names, I just always loved the name. Serafina was someone I grew up with. Her name was Serafina. Um, and then Mariella is someone I know is friends with a Mariella. And um, I just always loved the name. So for like the first 20 minutes of this, I'm gonna cover it and let them like steam and get all juicy. And then I'm gonna open it and let them caramelize for 20 minutes. I need my salt. I'm an Aquarius. Yeah, my husband's spending time with his kids. No more babies in this household. No more babies on this side of town. We're done with the babies. We're just gonna raise the two we have to be awesome human beings, unlike some people in my life. And then um, we're gonna live our life. It, it's funny because anyone who actually knows me, I'm, I'm not even on live that often, maybe like two, three times a week. <laughs> and it's usually on the weekend. Also, when you're a content creator, you're encouraged to go live. So. Kiss my ass. How about that? we're doing for valentine's day we'll probably just get dinner I, I mean it's not like a we'll just have a nice date night you know 
which is what my, all my date nights, which is what all your date nights should be like. So, uh, shampoo and conditioner. What do I have right now? I think I have a Mika. It's like um, a thickening shampoo. I think it's in like a purple bottle. But I also did just get like a haircut and I got my hair dyed yesterday. So that's also probably why it looks so good. It always looks nicer when they do it. I threw it up because I don't like it in my face when I'm cooking. So I'm gonna cook this covered for like 20 minutes and then I'm gonna uncover it. I am making sauces and peppers, but I'm also gonna be making a bread pudding right now because I'm going to a Super Bowl party tomorrow, tomorrow and that's what I'm gonna make as um, the dessert that I'm bringing. Roll that in the oven. I need to... I need to go in my basement a second and get that big bowl for the bread pudding. guys i'm trying to catch up on comments thank you no my kids don't have any allergies i mean so far at least seraphina never had any issues ever she literally eats everything and me and my husband don't have really any any allergies so I guess that like definitely plays a huge role, you know, cause me and my husband don't really have anything. So I cooked the, the, the peppers and onions first for a little bit. And then after I fry the sausages up, I slice them and put them with the peppers and onions. And then I cook them together for a little bit. Where did we put those bakas? They're on the, uh, the bar. I wrapped them up nice. It doesn't work with that one show. Why, babe? I don't know. So there's something going on with my Netflix. I started the Pamela Anderson movie and it keeps kicking me off just for that one movie. So I can't I can't finish it. Um, I met my husband on Plenty of Fish like 11 years ago. No, it's real sausage, pork. I think this is premio. Someone gave me babka, um, a chocolate babka. I'm going to show you it. And then I also have a fresh baked pala. And I'm going to make bread pudding out of this. It's just like, I mean, I'm very grateful, but it's just too much bread in my house. So I'm going to a Super Bowl party tomorrow and hala, babka. I mean, who wouldn't want bread pudding out of that? Um, and then I'll add stuff to it. I'll see what I got. Maybe like chocolate chips or something. First, I want to just cut this really small. Let me just get my other cutting board. Nice to meet you. It's hala, yeah. So I have a hala. Someone gave me a hala. And they also gave me a chocolate babka. But I'm going to turn it into bread pudding. Because I just have too much bread in this house. I'm grateful. It was delicious. But 
let's repurpose. Reuse and repurpose. So I'm gonna cut all this bread up and then I'm gonna let it soak before I bake it because you want it to get kind of custardy. Um, but this isn't stale, so it's probably not gonna take as long. You probably would prefer to use stale and you could toast it in the oven, but I'm not doing that here, guys. We're not doing that over here. It's challah, yeah, I have a, a loaf of challah and a babka. And I'm gonna make bread pudding out of that. Ooh, that sounds so good, like a savory sweet. Hal babe, challah bread to, to make Rubens. Ruben, Doesn't that sound good? I was thinking French toast. Yeah, French toast, definitely, but I'm gonna just make the bread pudding. Bread pudding. For tomorrow. Oh my god, the cutlets with the marinated onions, so good. It's like, once you have them that way, you can't eat cutlets without it. You've never had bread pudding? Oh my god. My mother always made bread pudding growing up because they used to make homemade bread and shit too, so we always had made leftovers, and she would make like home, like bread pudding out of it. So this was the regular hala. Now I'm gonna use this babka, which the bottom was like a little darker than I like. So I'm gonna just cut off the pieces that I weren't happy with. Actually, I think I might have took them off already. I got whoever you got. <laughs> so the babka is, uh, yeah, bread, bread pudding is sweet, but you can have it savory. I have had a savory bread pudding with like ham and like Gruyere cheese. That's really good also. But I'm, I'm in charge of bringing dessert. Which isn't even like my strong suit, but whatever. See, the inside of this bread is beautiful. It's like chocolate. But I just don't need all this stuff in my house. This is a little too cooked for to me too. Thank you so much. I'm Catholic. I'm not a fan of buffalo chicken dip. I know that's probably an unpopular opinion. Um, the only like buffalo thing I really enjoy is like crispy ass chicken wings. What are you guys making for the Super Bowl? Lemon brewery sauce. Oh, that sounds really good. I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm going to probably, since this already has chocolate in it, I'm probably going to just add some more chocolate chips. Um, we'll see what I got in there. I don't even know what I have in my cabinet. I always just throw shit together on a whim. I don't even know what I'm doing as far as like the, the like batter for this yet. I'm just like, let me cut the bread up first and we'll figure out the rest later. Can you tell me more about the marinated onions? It's just red onions that you slice up. You put in the bottom of your bowl before you make your salad. And you just put olive oil, vinegar, and salt. You let them sit like that for like a half hour before you make your salad. And it kind of like softens them and just changes the texture of the onions. And then you build your salad dressing off of those onions. It's really good. I can't keep up. Yeah, next time I go to H Mart, definitely. It's just like I get so like embarrassed when I'm in places recording because I'm like... I already take my time anyway because I like to read packages and shit. Also, if I have my kids with me, I'm not going to be like recording the whole time I'm in the store. I'm like super on guard when I have my kids, especially nowadays. I don't fucking trust nobody. I am not Middle Eastern. I'm Sicilian. Sicilian American. Hello. Thank you. Okay, let me just wash my hands and my knife. Let me see, baby. Wow, you did a great job with her. Did you name her? Um, yeah. What's her name? Her name is. What's her name? 
For Lala? Yeah. That's super and cool. And my name is, is, is Leaf Lala. Leaf Lala? No, it's like mine. It's this. It's my, my cream pin. Um, this is my, my fairy. This is my fairy pet. I love her. She's super cute. She's a stinking cutie. I don't like mint ice cream now. I don't like anything minty sweet. Like the only thing I really will even eat mint is like gum. And my toothpaste obviously. Pour some milk over it, and then I'm also gonna crack some eggs in. It's probably a half a container. I'm using. No, I have not been to Paredes yet. Where is that? I'm making bread pudding. The Super Bowl party tomorrow, and I'm gonna be bringing this. This is annoying, guys. I need, I just bought a stand for my phone. Um, I'm making bread pudding to bring to a Super Bowl party, so I just put like a half a uh, container of milk. I'm gonna put like three eggs, guys. I bought the cheap eggs to bake. I did it, I did it. I'm gonna put like four eggs for this amount of bread. This was like almost two loaves. Right. Maybe even do five, honestly. There's a lot of bread. One. Let's start with five. No, I'm in New Jersey. I'm from Howard Beach, Queens, but I live in New Jersey now. Uncle Giuseppe's Marketplace. No, I've never even heard of it. Have you, babe? What? Uncle Giuseppe's Marketplace? Where is it? I have sauce, um, peppers and onions in the oven. I'm making sausage and peppers. So the, that, it's just that one thing not working? No, it works. No, it works. Bella, Italia, and Monroe. I'll try them. From North Dakota, that's so cool. I did live in Staten Island for like two or three years, but I definitely don't have my accent from Staten Island. I lived in Queens until I was like 25. So I put some milk in here. I put like five eggs. I'm gonna put a little bit of brown sugar and a little bit of white sugar. Just like a little handful of each. Where is Aunt Mia's? Is that in New Jersey? I wonder if anyone has ever seen me out and like it's just weird to say something to me. I mean, I'm, I would probably be just as weird too, so you're not the only one. I'm already cringing at the day that it, if, it, if it happens, I'm already cringing. I did keto before I had my second daughter and I lost like over 100 pounds. If I want to lose weight quick, I'll hop right on keto. And eventually, I'm going to get there, but I'm not there yet. If you want to do keto, you need to mentally commit to it. You can't just be like, oh, I'm going to try keto. If you're going to do it, you're going to do it. And I know I'm not there yet, so follow along. Maybe that'll be the next journey. Who knows? One 
光指甲也给他。喂。You should. Beautiful.、Huh? I'm gonna melt some butter and put some butter in there too. Thank you so much. I mean, the only reason why I gained weight back was because I got pregnant, and then after I gave birth, I still was like, whatever. Like, I'm not ready to go on a diet yet, you know. When I was on keto, I dropped a hundred pounds in like a year, and I kept it off. But I also was super committed to staying on keto. Like, you can't just be on keto and decide to not be on it and eat like you used to. Obviously, you're gonna gain the weight back. Yeah, I'm still like loving like bread and pasta right now, and I also don't want to like completely start limiting stuff from myself because I'm just like in a pretty decent spot right now with food, and I love to just keep it that way. I also like once I was on keto, I was like obsessed with the scale, and I just got like I just I wasn't comfortable with how it like what it turned into. You know what I mean? Sure. I'm gonna melt this butter and put it in the bread pudding. Thank you so much, guys. So I don't really do like recipes. I kind of just wing it, you know. Like I know what goes with what. I know like what you need, you know, to make it moist, to make it stay together. I kind of just build off that. Yeah, right now I'm like pretty comfortable. Um, like I used to only exercise, like so I could lose weight. I'm like at a point where I'm exercising because it like mentally makes me feel good, you know. And like you're doing it because you want to be healthy for yourself and your kids. It's not all about the number on the scale. Um, but I feel like your body knows when like you're ready to. You know, take whatever the next step is for you. And right now, I'm like chilling where I am. I'm just living my life right now. Nice sunlight over there, Sarafina. You see, like, look what it looks like right now. See how it's like already getting custody? I'm gonna put chocolate chips in here. Let me see what else I got. actually the perfect consistency and it's gonna just keep breaking down the more that it sits in this liquid i essentially just made like a quick custard i went to tuscany once yesterday and their food was good it's the first time i've ever been there and the only reason why i even went there was because it's right by where i got my hair cut there's raw egg in there and i didn't eat it and even if there was raw egg it's not gonna kill me i've had raw egg before <laughs> I'm gonna use, I think, milk chocolate in this. Yeah, it's beautiful in New Jersey. I have my uh, back door open. I'm making a quick bread pudding to bring to my Super Bowl party tomorrow. I also have sausage and peppers in the oven. Yeah, I've eaten raw meatball mix also. When I was younger, that's how they tasted the meatball, raw. Then I put probably like a half a cup, maybe a little more. And that's it, guys. That's literally it. I just made bread pudding. That's like, people make things so complicated. It's very easy. Whatever you'd like, baby girl. Did you have fun at dance today? Did you did you dance your ass off today at dance? Were you 
star of the show? Um, yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna bake it. I am gonna bake it. You think I'm gonna eat it like this? Come on, guys. Come on, guys. You think I'm gonna just eat it just like this? Is that why they're telling me not to eat the raw egg? Yeah, let me grab my spoon. <laughs> yeah, she calls, well, right now she's in her princess outfit, so she's the princess and I'm the queen. She always says such nice things, my daughter. It really is, like... I'm like, wow, I guess I'm doing a pretty good job, right? Just flattening it out because you want that liquid to sit on all that bread. So I'm going to let this sit out for like another half hour and then I'll bake it because I still have some pieces over here that I want to be a little more soaked than what they are. Now I'm going to start frying up my sausages. Um, I, I, they have ice cream, so it'll get topped with ice cream. This is a bread pudding. It's a Hala chocolate babka bread pudding. I don't know what Uncle Giuseppe's supermarket is. Where, where is that? I put a little butter in it. Yes. Those stuffed peppers are so good. I actually made like a bomb ass salad a couple of days ago. I didn't post yet. Remember when I made the pork cutlets? I made a salad the next day with leftover pork cutlets and it was delicious. Today, Bob. Okay. What happened to have some You follow me to regard it, Semolina. I'm a little too busy with my little, my, my little, my little, my little, my Literally just like drawers all day. She is obsessed with like notepads and markers and pencils. No, I mean Uncle J Long Island's far for me, so that's not gonna be a place that I go to probably. And if I'm gonna be over there, I'm I'm gonna probably just be in Queens. That's like the furthest I'll go. I'm sure it's delicious. I mean, New York's have great pork stores. That's why it's so hard to please me here in New Jersey because I'm used to the best. That's the problem. I'm, I got spoiled as a kid. That's the problem. I'm going to fry up my sausages. I'm going to put this bread pudding aside. What baby girl? Justine's here. I see you sent me flowers. <laughs> Did I go to Buddy's supermarket? No, where's that? Where's Buddy's supermarket? Mom, I'm done. I'm done with this thing. You're done with that thing? Alright, girl, you did a great job. Oh, my queen. Thanks, my queen. I think I don't have any more olive oil, guys. I'm making a little picture. I may have downstairs. That's all I need, though. Put it on the refrigerator. I have the magnet waiting for you, babe. Happy? Yes, Mariella. Serafina. Uh -uh. Serafina oh, Serafina's not here. Yes, my princess. You're a fairy. So, my queen, yes, I'm really, I really, really can't help you make dinner. Not today? No. Okay. okay. Well, I don't want, anyway, you can't do anything today anyway, because it's in the oven, really. Yeah. And I don't want you near the hot stove. It's okay. I, I'm just doing some little barns for my little queen. All right, make sure you make a drawing so for your sissy. All right, well, make sure you make a drawing for your sissy, too. And I think 
Daddy's gonna want one too. What? A drawing. She's making one for you, she said. Uh, I usually just eat it like in a sam like in a plate or in a sandwich. I'm making um my husband picks up Italian bread when he was out. My daughter, I like don't even know why I buy her clothes because she lives in dress up. Like I'm not even kidding. She comes home because I always make her like wherever we go, as soon as we get home, I make her change like her clothes. Got a big pimple on my forehead, huh guys? Um and she comes home and goes straight to dress up. So, whatever makes you happy, girl. <laughs> Buddies is in Manalapin? I never heard of it. <clears throat> I'm not having any more kids, no. Yes, I have a dog. I have a Lassa Opta. So I'm just frying the sausages right now, but I'm not gonna really be cooking them. I just wanna get a nice color on them, and then I'm gonna let them cool, I'm gonna slice them, and then I'm gonna finish cooking them in the sausage and pepper, because you want the oil from like the sausage to get in your peppers and onions, you know? Is it stressful going live? It's not stressful. It's just, I, I don't, it's hard for me to do it, like unless my husband's home. So that's why I'm usually just like on here on the weekends. During the week, you know I'm hopping on here if Marielle is sleeping. But <clears throat> it's a very rare occasion lately, guys. Do I deal with trolls? So many, but you know what? I block so many people. Like if you live... Do I deal with trolls? So many, but you know what? I block so many people. Like, if you literally say something that I don't like, even if I'm like, I don't, I don't feel like answering that, I'll just block you. Because this is my space, and I, I don't really care if it offends you. You know, like, I protect my space. It's your job to protect your space. My opinion. It's just easier for me to block than to like fight with people, you know? Sometimes if you were job to protect your space. My opinion. It's just easier for me to block than to like fight with people, you know? Sometimes if you read through my comments, like I will have like some snarky remarks sometimes. Like if I could think of something that's like smart assy, I will say something back. But otherwise I'm just like block. I do have to say, though, I do get way more nice stuff than I do mean stuff. But most people just talk shit about my lips. But it's like, okay, are they yours or are they mine? Like, what do you care? So I recommend the cheese peppers from Costco. I recommend them if you have a few people in your household. Like if it's just you, I don't recommend because it's a huge jar. Like my husband will eat it, you know, I'll make salads. I actually have like a whole vibe and want to put them on a sandwich. Like I'll make use out of them, but for if you Huge jar. There's honestly like even blocking people, like there's even sometimes people on like my for you where I'm like, I look at their stuff and they make me feel like a certain way about myself. And I'll even block them just for that reason. Like it's nothing against that person. It's more about like just protecting my mental health. If that makes sense. I don't know if anyone can understand that. I am not gonna speak about other influencers, guys. It's not my vibe. I just feel like everybody has their own thing, you know? People like certain people for certain things. And no one's gonna be the same. No one's gonna be you, so it doesn't really matter. Thank you. Should I have a drink? What do you think? What do you guys think? What do you guys think then? 
yeah, nice and brown. And then I'm going to let them like sit for a few minutes in the pan. Um, and then once they cool down a little bit, I'm going to just slice them and finish cooking them in the onions. Let's check the onions. I could probably take the cover off of them now. Now that the peppers and onions are like making its own, they're like basically making a pepper and onion stock, okay? Like it's sweat out and, and, it's, and now it's gonna fry up in like its own juices. Now I'm gonna put it back in the oven uncovered and I'm gonna shut these sausages off and let them chill out. It wasn't really hard for me to do keto at the time because I was like very overweight. I was like a hundred pounds heavier than I am now. Um, and I was so unhappy in my own skin that I was just like, something's gotta change. So it wasn't hard for me because I wanted it so bad. But keto is a lot of work. I totally recommend it, it works if you do it properly. It definitely works, but it is a lot of work and it's commitment, you have to commit to it. I moved to New Jersey because we didn't want to buy a house in Staten Island and the, the prices were like insane compared to Jersey and I was getting way more for my money here. This was also pre-COVID so I'm not like really sure what the deal is with like the market right now. I know it's like not doing great but hello from Ireland. That's so cool. Hello from New Jersey. <laughs> Guys, Sue just sent me a whole box of juices. Like, literally, I'm not kidding. Like, 80 juices. Mom, this is my, Mom, yes, baby. This is my little That's the one that Uncle Chucky bought you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> she wants me to. That was your favorite teddy bear. Your first this teddy one, bear. This one, this one. Can we kiss? Aww. Did you give Mariella a kiss? Um, oh, no. Okay. I think the teddy bear would love to give Mariella kisses. I used to buy the green juice when I was pregnant. Cause I like had like a weird taste to green vegetables, but I'm gonna mix this one with vodka. Me and my husband are gonna share it. Tropical rescue, because health, okay? Funny, funny gal. Thanks for sharing my live, guys. That's so cool. That is just so cool. What's for you, bud? What's the... Daddy's talking to Uncle Chris? Did you ever make substitutions? It was so when I was on keto, I completely followed it by the book. Um, when to be in ketosis, you have to eat 20 net carbs or less for like a consistency of 30 days. Like you need to, you don't just get into ketosis overnight. Like I know they sell these like keto powders and like ketosis powders. I don't know what the fuck they're called, but it's like maybe it'll like put you in like a fake ketosis, but it's not gonna be like the real deal. I'm telling you right now, when you fully get into ketosis, you feel like superwoman. Like the amount of energy I had was absolutely insane. Like that, if I do decide to go back on keto, that's probably one of the main reasons. 
But in reality, it's like people make this whole stigma around keto like, oh, you're eating fat all day and butter and mayonnaise and cheese. Literally, I ate meat and vegetables and I cooked my vegetables in fat, which is mostly how people cook their vegetables every other night. So it's, it just depends on how you keto. Some people do dirty keto where they eat like fucking fast food 24 seven. And if it works for them, who gives a shit? It's not your arteries. What do you care? They're not clogging your arteries. They're clogging their own. Who cares? Thank you, Suja, for sending me these juices. They're fucking dope. I never had this one. I love bread and pasta too, so the keto's not for you. They have a, they have, um, there's a difference between keto and low carb. So low carb, I don't know like the exact number. I think it's like 65 and, and below or something, but I know keto is for sure 20 net carbs. I was at a point where I was eating 16 net carbs a day. You did drop weight very quick. Oh, she's tired. She can't go to sleep now. Thank you. Mommy, you just get a little cup for my little cutie? Yeah, Fiona. Without. I need a little cup. Good. It's good, right? Juice is delicious. Well, she wants a juice too. No, one juice. Okay, we can share. You don't need two. This okay, stuffed animal is not gonna drink the juice, Fina. Only you are. She wants me to give her stuffed animal a juice. She's out of her mind, my kid. This juice is Tropical Rescue. Okay, I'm gonna read you the ingredients. This is another reason why I love this company. I'm not getting paid for this, guys. Just so you know. Okay, I just truly love this company. Um. This juice, let me read you the, the ingredients. This is purified water, coconut water, organic apple juice, organic orange juice, organic pineapple juice. I'm going to stop saying organic, but the whole list is organic, okay? Lemon juice, uh, passion fruit juice, tangerine extract, stevia leaf, acerola cherry, turmeric extract, and omega veg D3. Whatever the hell that is, but if omega is before it, it's got to be good, right? No, Leah is just Leah. Leah Victoria is my name. Leah Victoria. There's Mariella singing to my husband. Yeah, they have delicious juice. They also sent me... I'll show you what else they sent me. They also sent me a bunch of these things. Like the essentials, um, they gave me a ginger one, an immunity, a ton of those. I actually just had an energy one and I'm feeling good. It was like reishi and like coffee extract or something. <clears throat> what? It was like reishi and like coffee extract or something. <clears throat> It was like reishi and like coffee extract or something. <clears throat> I'm here in a Saturday because my hubby's home with my kids. He's hanging out. My daughters get their eye color. I, I, I'm not really sure, honestly, because they both have like lighter eyes than me. I did have like a lighter brown when I was younger, so I'm assuming from my side. Did I get the keto flu? No, because I used to take a ton. So that's another thing. If you're doing keto, you have to do it right. You have to take all the necessary vitamins and you need to drink electrolytes daily. Like you can't skip the electrolytes, literally. You will get sick. I'm confused, guys. I'm not sure what's happening in the comments because I'm confused. If you want to. Sure. And then I'll call you when dinner's done. <laughs> You're welcome, my princess. We had a very eventful morning, so it's time for everybody to wind the hell down now. Time for everybody to wind down. Feels like somebody, people in this in this live, need to wind down. What, Matt? What, Serafina? Hi, Nicolina. 
Are you? All right, be careful you don't spill that. Say hi to. Say hi, Nicolina. Hi. Say hi, Nicolina. Say hi. <laughs> I didn't slice it yet, but I am gonna slice it. Yes, I'm gonna slice them and then put it in with the sauce with the onions and peppers in the oven. Hey, Brett. Do I like the Brooklyn area? Sure. I used to hang out there all the time when I was living in Queens. Um, but not today. <laughs> I'm going to slice the sausage now. And Chelsea said, hi, Fina. Thank you guys. How did I get my daughter's names? I always answer this question. I, I just like always love the names. So you see, this is still raw, the sausage, but I want it to finish cooking inside the onions and peppers. But the reason why I wait till it cools down a little bit is so all the juice doesn't come out when you cut it. Cause if you cut them too hot, the juice is gonna come out. So let me take out the peppers. Pump my oven up now, because now we want to get color. Now we want color. Pump up the jam. Pump up the jam. Pump it up. Babe, what do you want to listen to? This sausage is from Costco. It's nothing special. It's premium. They had it on sale, like four pounds of it for $11. That's fucking great. What, do you slice your sausage when it's hot? Can't do that. You see how this is still raw, but you see how the juice is not coming out of it? Because I let it cool. So all the juice went back into its meat. Yeah, my mother is always dropping a bunch of shit off at my house. Half the time, I'm like, Ma, you could have just threw this out. Like, you, you don't need to bring this here. Yeah. But, you know, it makes them happy. So, you deal with it. Do you guys put sauce in your sausage and peppers? I know that's a big thing. Um, I do not do that. Yes, don't cut any of your meat while it's hot. Don't slice your steak hot. Don't slice your roast hot. You can't eat anything hot. You got to wait at least 10, 15 minutes. Completely changes the texture and the taste of the food. Yes, I have a sister. I have an older sister. I'm going to have Italian bread. I'm going to eat it on Italian bread. And I'm probably going to make like a steamed broccoli or something. Thank you. So now I'm going to mix this all together. And then you want to get color on this. This is something that could have been made super quick. Like way easier if you just did it all in one. But... My food takes time because I like shit a certain way and it's just so good. I prefer it this way. So, good food takes time, guys. Guys, I literally just bought a stand from Amazon because I, I, I can't take this. We still <laughs> constantly like washing, like wiping off my camera because I'm always cooking around my food. I mean, I'm always cooking around my phone. So I feel like there's always shit on my camera. 
<laughs> Before I was a stay-at-home mom, I um, did medical billing and coding, de- uh, dental and medical billing and coding. Favorite pizza toppings, mushrooms and onions. For sure, mushrooms and onions. I have sausage and peppers in the oven, and I also made a bread pudding on here. I'm going to actually throw that in the oven, too. So you see how it, like, completely sucked up all the juice? Now you can bake it. Or should I just eat it raw? What do you guys think? No, I don't do the sauce. My husband likes it with the sauce. But I don't, so I don't do it. I'm not, like, a huge sauce fan, so... I am just putting away these muffins that I made before. I did post the video of these blueberry banana muffins I made for Mariella. Seraphina likes them too. So I have some in the bag. I'm going to put some in the refrigerator and I'm going to put some in the freezer. I, I'm not a fan of um, tomato sauce to begin with. Like, I'm not a fan. So I would, I, I just like garlic and oil in my stuffed pap. Um, what am I making? Sausage and peppers. Is there food that I don't like? I'm sure there's something that I don't like, but I can't really think of anything off the top of my head. Babe, what don't I like? Chicken from the halal place. Oh, chicken from the halal place. That's what my husband says. <laughs> like, you ever have a halal, like, um, halal plates? I don't know if that's something that's everywhere or just like around here babe what are you watching sounded like that have I tried Portuguese food tell me something that's Portuguese like what's considered Portuguese Um, I don't think it's exactly the same as Mediterranean, but I, I don't think it's that far off. Yeah, my husband grew up on Staten Island. That's why he, he even knows about that. Yeah, it's the Godfather. <laughs> Someone goes, I know the... Yeah, it's the Godfather. <laughs> Someone goes, I know the... Someone goes, I know the God... She was just like an extra... Someone goes, I know the god. She was just like an extra. Yeah. She wasn't like a star. (laughs) I'm coming! Babe, someone told me I should eat a salad. Rice cakes? Like, the rice cakes that, like, you put peanut butter and bananas on? Or is it, like, Portuguese steak has egg on top and Portuguese red peppers? That sounds delicious. That, that Sign me up. Riamar, I've been to Riamar. We didn't, I mean, maybe we went on an off day. It wasn't our favorite. Portuguese pastries, yum. My favorite food is sushi. I love raw fish. And what else do I really enjoy? Chinese food. Yeah, I love like Asian food. The Asian. Indian. I also love Indian food. Which is part of Asia. I do love yeah. Indian food as well. Come to LA. What am I going to do in LA? No, nope, no LA. What am I going to do there? Sushi's the way to go. Do you eat like, do you actually eat the raw fish or do you eat like California rolls? I'm sure. Do I like salmon on bagel with capers? Of course I do. And don't forget the red onion. Don't forget the red onion. Yeah. I hate like when you get your hair done and then you just 
keep it up all day because you're cooking and cleaning, you know? I love raw. Mm. I am drinking a little bit of Tito's and this Tropical Rescue from Suja. It's purified water, coconut, apple, orange, and pineapple. It's delicious. It's very refreshing. I love Mexican food, and I'm sure in California it's amazing as well. Mexican's another, um, like, ethnicity that I enjoy. I have no choice. Like, what am I going to do? I can't, I can't leave it down all day. I have kids. I'm, I'm always cleaning someone's ass, cooking something, wiping something. It's, imp it's impossible. It is what it is. We have really good Indian food, too, because Edison, New Jersey is like a like a Indian neighborhood, and they have really good Indian food. We've been to this place in, is it South Plainfields? Spice Paradise, babe? Spice Culture. So good. So good. Spice Culture. I'm always cleaning someone's ass. That's what happens when you're a mom. My go-to drink at the bar is a dirty martini. I live near Edison, yes. Not far. Am I going to watch the Super Bowl? Well, I'm going to a Super Bowl party at my family's house. So I'm sure it'll be on in the background. But I'm just going to mostly be eating. <laughs> Thank you. Hopefully I don't look like Lord Farquhar after I wash it and try blowing it out myself. You ever see that my my um, the girl that cut my hair? She showed me this this meme. Actually, it was like when you love the bob when your hairstylist does it, and then you wash your hair and you look like Lord Farquaad from Shrek. Who knows? I felt like that with my last hot haircut because I cut it like too short. I told her to go too short, and now I literally just like she literally just dusted it. The food is the only part of the Super Bowl that matters, guys. Ditto. Hey, Ash. Happy Saturday. My nose swell insane. And I, I already have a big nose, but my nose got crazy when I was pregnant. So big. But they also say when you, when you swell like that, it's because you're having a girl. I don't know how true that is, but I did have two girls and my nose swelled. So. I'm drinking Tito's with this juice from Suja. It's Tropical Rescue, and it has, like, it's 90% coconut water, so it's, like, also hydrating me. Look at me. Look at me being all healthy and shit, taking my vitamins. Thank you. Yeah, so it, I feel like women's faces are going to change regardless when they're pregnant because, obviously, you know, your whole body is upside down. Literally, like I still can't even believe that I grew two humans inside of my stomach. I, I, I'll never get over that. I'll never get over it. Am I rooting for the Eagles? Sure. You want me to root for the Eagles? Sure. Sure. Healthy. I'm drinking my vitamins, you know. My nose, I mean, I have an Italian nose, so it's just inevitable. But I feel like mine did go down a little bit. It was very flat when I was pregnant. It was like flat. Like someone sat on my face. <laughs> um, I'm going to my family's house. Uh, they're, they're ordering food. They're getting so fucking random. They're ordering heroes from Brothers. I don't know if you ever had Brothers in Howard Beach. So they're getting six foot heroes. And then she's also getting baked clams and like Italian food from Lenny's Clam Bar on Cross Bay. So it's definitely going to be food that I enjoy. But that's like our typical Super Bowl. We don't fucking eat buffalo chicken dip. Babe, it's, we don't even need that. It's not even smoky. It's not smoky. Here's it. That's a little bit. You got a nice? Come here. Yeah, I'm going to be over there tomorrow. Are you in New Howard or Old Howard, Ash? Oh, 
I am from Howard Beach, Queens. I live in New Jersey now. I love it how you just like, you just basically just pass the boulevard. That's all you want. You just cross the boulevard. <laughs> I mean, it's a beautiful neighborhood, so. You know, great schools over there. Yeah. My favorite cold cut, I love the pepper turkey from Boar's Head. I am Sicilian American. Like? I'm 34. And I also like the oven roasted, but it depends. The pepper turkey, I like. With mayo and provolone. The oven roasted, I also like with mayo and provolone. But the honey roasted, I like with Munster and honey mustard with shredded lettuce. That's like a delicious sandwich. Yeah, well, Sicilians are cursed with that, like, baboon body type. Big shoulders, stocky. That's the, that's the joys of being Sicilian. The, uh, the boys had buffalo chickens good. I've had that too. So good. Next time you go to the deli to get a sandwich, honey turkey, but it has to be boys had. Honey turkey, Munster, honey mustard, shredded lettuce. If it's not shredded, it, it just doesn't work. Has to be shredded lettuce. On, you know, like a nice, nice Italian bread or a roll. I would go for a nice, a nice Kaiser roll, you know? Any advice on how to purchase a house in New Jersey? Honestly, if you would have came to me like four years ago, like before the pandemic, I probably would have had a ton. But right now, I'm not even sure what is freaking going on over there. I really don't know. I feel like everything is just getting picked up so quick. People are just buying and so quick. Um, but just prepare. Be prepared to spend money on taxes. That's for sure. Shredded lettuce is elite. Like, if it's not shredded, I don't want it. Yeah, I like that. That's basically like a fish soup. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm also built like that. So once I get to, like, a certain wheat, I, I start looking like a football player. And then I just hop on keto, and I'll lose, like, 100 pounds. I'm definitely not having any more kids, so that's for sure. Once I start, like, the weight loss journey, that's it. My husband's going to get me, my husband's going to get me a tummy tuck yeah. and he's going to get me, uh, he's going to get the fat sucked out of my back and he's going to get me a butt lift. He's going to, he's going to just give me a whole, he's going to buy me a whole new body. Right, babe? Nope. <laughs> I'm just kidding, guys. It's funny. Laugh. It's just a joke. Do I cook rabbit or duck? No, but my grandmother used to. You know, my mother told me a story. This is terrible, okay? But this is what the guineas did. She had a rabbit growing up. It was like her pet. And then she said one day the pet just like disappeared. And they were like young, so she didn't like realize it till like later. And my grandmother made like rabbit soup that night. I don't know the backstory, okay? So don't get angry. I don't know the backstory. Yeah, my shoulders are very broad. Like, if I get to a certain weight, you, like, know you got to rein it in. I have two kids. Yeah, but they, like, you, they would take care of these animals like pets and then kill them. I mean, I guess that's the circle of life, right? That's the circle of life. I know, it's, like, sad, but... I mean, if you eat meat, you really can't talk shit about anything. So. Thank you. My kids are on the internet anyway. Like, my daughter's school takes pictures and posts them on the internet. Like, your kids are... It, it, it just is what it is. You can't shield them from everything. You know what I mean? And I share what I want to share, so. Wouldn't you love to know? I 
I'm 34. They said I don't look a day past 25, babe. And I agree. I see. <laughs> I'm drinking a little bit of Tito's and this Suja juice. It's like a tropical rescue. Yeah, that is terrible to say. I mean, growing up in that sort of family, though, you like kind of expect it. If you tell that story to people, they're going to think that you were like, it's like borderline child abuse, right? <laughs> yeah, I'll definitely show you when it's done. I just checked them. They're still cooking. Do I watch Survivor? No, I do not. What are you guys cooking for dinner? My favorite show, I, I like just binge shit. Like I just finished um, Jeannie and Georgia. I thought that was really cute. Um, I just finished, what else did I watch? I had, me and my husband just watched Monk together and that show was freaking awesome, okay? Uh, what else did I just finish? What the hell did I just watch? I don't know. Give me some give me some ideas because I'm running out of ideas. I don't want to cook tonight either, but here we are. I'm cooking. Flying sauces from Carvel. Those are so good. I like the vanilla ones with like the Oreo cookie. Game of Thrones. Is that the show that I watched? What? Game of Thrones that I like was surprised that I liked. Yes. Yeah, I watched that. That shit was crazy. Oh my god. That was no joke. That 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 series what's your vibe i don't know you tell me what do you think my vibe is as far as tv i love comedy i love like mystery and i also need stuff with like a few seasons like i can't just have one or two seasons no i didn't watch out of banks but i think i'm gonna hop off now because my kids are turning into pumpkins and you know teamwork teamwork makes the dream work guys Firefly watched, loved it, super cute. Um, okay, I'm gonna give kisses and I will try to take a picture of the Sorted and Pepe's. It's gonna be delicious, okay? Right, Bye guys, I'm hopping off, babe. I'll make a new one.